some days when you're out there and working, you just can't believe, and you're really the only teacher in Education Queensland doing that that day. Welcome to Togo State College. As teachers, you're about to embark on an exciting journey with our college. You're about to join a workforce with exceptional skills. You're about to work with some students that you'll be privileged and honoured to work with. And you'll be working with 100% of our parents supporting you in your teaching role every day in the classroom. The first thing to remember when you come to Togo State College is that you'll be confronted by children who have a wealth of knowledge and experience with their culture. Every day I hear the rhythm of the ocean Dancing on the beach of my homeland So it's uh, 75 years uh, since the first council had the meeting at Masig on the 23rd of August, uh, 1937. Uh, 26 years since the department has um, taken responsibility for education, um, service delivery in the Torres Strait. And uh, six years uh, since Tagai um, became a college. Uh, the key is that we should never you know, be distracted from the fact that we're about providing good education for our kids, quality education for our kids. So we know we've, as a community, embraced uh, the explicit instruction approach, uh, that uh, particular pedagogy that um, you know, is espoused by numerous others as uh, one of the most effective methods of you know, teaching and learning. What sits, I guess, uh, diametrically opposite to that is, uh, is the other approach, um, you know, the Montessori approach, where, uh, you know, globally, um, that's certainly promoted as, um, you know, the best pedagogy for the early years. Um, you know, six years in operations, it's not a very long time, but I think six years in operation, um, we've achieved a, a fair bit. Um, and there's never a time where we don't, um, I guess, uh, look at what we have in place and uh, look at what we want you know, to achieve and we continually do that uh, in partnership with you know, other key stakeholders and the biggest key stakeholder in uh, the business of uh, what the college does uh, is the Torres Strait Nation. Uh, in 2013 we'll be embarking on a journey uh, called Independent Public School and that journey is about greater control of Yumi future. Uh, we'll be walking that talk and talking that talk with our community and it's something we've been planning for the last five years or so since our amalgamation in 2007. We have well and truly embedded the service guarantee, the model for delivery. We no longer do the crossing of the fingers and hope for the best. We guarantee that those pathways that we're providing for our students, uh, that, that they're taking those pathways and they're successful. We have been having great results and we do celebrate those results with our community. In 2013 we will become an independent public school and that means we'll have greater control of Yumi future. That future is being determined and planned through with our community. It means that for the first time in 2013 we will have a school council made up of students, staff and community members 
The school counsellor's role will be about the decision making being brought back to the ground in terms of what's in the best interest of our students and in our community. Independent Public School is also about being more innovative with the existing programs that we have. While we believe we've had success in the senior school, there are other opportunities in the early years and in the junior secondary years where we can be innovative to get those results that we have been aspiring to the last couple of years. Independent Public School will also give an opportunity for us to directly recruit the very best staff that we need for our students. So flexibility and freedom are the two words that we use under Independent Public School. When they had a fight like this, this is what they said to me. Boys are rotten, made out of cotton, girls are sexy, made out of pink. Uh, of the 17 campuses which make up Tuggo State College, uh, 16 of them are primary campuses. Um, one located in TI, one at Horn Island, and the other 14 campuses are on the Outer Islands. These campuses range in size from our smallest campus, Stephen Island, which has um, about 10 students, up to our largest Outer Island campus, which is Badu, which currently has about 220 students. The majority of the um, other islands have students in numbers from 100 down to about 45 or 50. Each island has its own unique culture and way of going about things. So working in each island can be very different. Communities are very welcoming to new teachers and um, are very happy to uh, participate in educational programs which will benefit their children. We felt safe, we felt at home, pretty well right from the word go. So they, um, they go out of their way to include us, which is nice. But the easiest way to meet all the boys was um, spearfish and diving, and they take you out all the time, so, which is good. I've been teaching on Yam Island for two years now. Initially at first it, you feel isolated, it's a tiny island in the middle of the ocean, but it's beautiful. Every island's different, that's the most important thing for everyone to realise. Every island has, I mean, different landscapes, but also different cultural protocol, uh, different way that things are run in the community. My first impressions was it was very small and not many people, but everyone was really nice to me and made me feel welcome. When my plane pulled up, it just was very dry and not many people around and they walked me through the street and people seemed to come out of their houses and were very inquisitive, but yeah, it's, it is nice. The thing I like best about this island, I guess, is the community and the values that they have. Everyone's family and they treat you like that and they accept us. The kids to teach are fantastic. They're wild, but they're beautiful. You know, they steal your heart. You really put your whole heart into teaching up here because you really do genuinely want these kids to have a good future. So you feel honoured to teach here. Yeah, the work here at, at Tuggai is definitely challenging work, um, but it's very rewarding at the same time. You certainly uh, will have to put in uh, a lot of time and effort to get the rewards, uh, but they are there to be had. A completely different experience having worked in other countries and also coming to work in Australia. It's almost like working with a complete another little mini country within our own country with such a different culture to what I've experienced growing up on the Gold Coast. So really, really great experience. At Tagai College, our signature pedagogy is explicit instruction. Uh, this has been in place for a number of years now, and what it means is the teacher's responsibility uh, in the I do stage is at its maximum, and the students are uh, engaged in the learning process, and the level of responsibility decreases as they move through the we do and the you do stage. This will continue in 2013. Tagai's focus 
as a college is about improving the capacity of our teachers and we have a number of strategies to do this. Our 4T strategy, which is about Tagai teachers teaching teachers, was be, uh, implemented in 2012 and allows teachers to visit other teachers across campuses throughout the Torres Strait. We have a very, very clear professional development uh, agenda and a very, very clear professional learning phases in which our teachers progress through. We want to ensure that no matter which campus or which island you're placed, that you have access to the best professional learning via the internet, via our discussion lists, and, at, and if you're lucky enough, the opportunity to visit other campuses to work with um, some of Tagai's best teachers. At Tagai State College, our explicit instruction pedagogy underpins everything we do in the classroom. In the early years when Tagai was first formed as a college, the community quite clearly said to us that language and culture should be an integral part of the education, the Yumi education that we provide here at Tagai State College. And obviously that requires us to have support from the community because that's where we're going to access the fluent language speakers but also it's about us being very, very smart about utilising staff members who are also fluent language speakers. How might we also uh, build their capacity and their uh, competency um, and confidence to also contribute to ensuring that we can teach these languages and, uh, and so that they can be around for ever and ever. As a new teacher at Tagai State College, a good place to start to help to embed Torres Strait language and culture is to learn some of the simple traditional greetings in the language that your campus or your community has identified um, as being the language that they would like to be taught at your campus and in your community. So we provide the traditional language greetings which are available um, as a resource um, and teachers can access that and have copies of those available in their classroom and obviously tap into people who are on staff there who are um, local people who can assist you with how to pronounce those language greetings. So getting to know those cultural protocols, finding someone in the community or someone on staff that can be your mentor or could be your go-to person to ask questions, to get advice, would be very, very um, advisable. Here at the, uh, the secondary campus on Thursday Island, we have approximately 340 students. Half of those students come from the inner islands, while the other half come from our out outer island campuses. 95% of our students are Indigenous students, um, and therefore it's about providing a curriculum that very much meets their needs, and the needs of our community, of course. That's very, very important to us. Within the school, we have 28 teachers on staff. We have two deputies, one a junior secondary deputy and a senior school deputy. We have four heads of department. They're broken up to, at the moment, HOD Student Services. His role is basically um, looking after behaviour issues and obviously that whole social, emotional well-being of our students. The other heads of department, one is Mass and science and marine. We have a very strong marine department here at this school, obviously. Being surrounded by water is very important and um, obviously that is an area that we consider one of our areas of excellence. The other two HODs, one is HOD English SOS, looking after that faculty, and the HOD Practical Arts and uh, her role is looking after all of those other subjects like HPE, art, music, drama, um, manual arts and so forth. I see us all here as a team, all working together, navigating UMI to a successful future. I guess what makes our um, campus unique 
um, is the fact that we have a pedagogy that really does promote and support student success. Uh, we focus on individual student priorities and tend to those areas, whether that is um, the deficit areas across a cohort or whether that is you know, really extending our students through um, differentiation. My best advice for teachers, for new teachers coming up to Torres Strait from Indigenous uh, teachers' perspective is learn and respect our culture. Get involved in community events. Get out to the communities and meet the student families. For most of the Torres Strait Islands student, English is the second or third language. So it is very important to learn and to understand your students. VAB management in classroom can also be a challenge, especially for new teachers. My best advice for you is, is right from the day one, make a clear classroom expectations, rules and consequences not too many. All, always remind your students about your classroom expectation at the beginning of the term and end of the term. If you will show the student that you are in charge of the class during the le uh, lesson times, you will enjoy your teaching. The school to work department here at Tagoi uh, is in place to ensure that we meet our service guarantee which is we have a defined pathway for all our students. So, some of our students select um, an employment pathway or, or vet training pathway and the school to work department is in place to try and ensure that they get some type of work experience and try and you know, transition them easily into the, into the workplace after. So we offer things such as in grade 10 we have work experience, uh, grade 11 and 12 the students actually go out and do one, two, three, four weeks of work experience and then we try and link that to a direct outcome for them. So a school based apprenticeship or a traineeship um, or something that guarantees them a, a good future straight after school. Uh, Harold's been coming every Wednesday for about ten and a half months now and he seems to be enjoying it and I think he'll probably start uh, full time next year as a school based apprentice. You seem to be enjoying it H? Yeah, that's good. Tagai TAFE is um, basically a new uh, innovation in senior schooling for uh, Tagai State College whereby we're starting to combine more of the VET and Tagai Tech and the uh, industry training approach to senior schooling. It's a separate campus. We have a separate um, memorandum of understanding with TAFE where we combine resources and facilities in a unique fashion. A unique thing that we have at Tagai is that we also have our school curriculum up here for the tech students, which is our engineering and construction mainly. But we do have the hospitality and business and childcare services and all those as well. But the unique curriculum is that up here is that um, all students stay on campus and we design the school curriculum to meet their uh, vocational needs. Here we are down at the water today for marine studies. We've got the year 11 students about to head out onto the water for their power boating activities. Uh, we assess the students on their power boating skills as part of our marine studies program. Uh, we, we cover a lot of topics here at the school, uh, but this one is obviously one of the favourites for the students. Uh, we do a lot of practical activities when we can, for instance, uh, snorkelling as well and we do take field trips out to the islands that are nearby, which is a great opportunity for the students to do their outdoor practical work. Often when people think and talk about the Torres Straits, the first thing that comes to mind is boating and fishing. And undoubtedly, this is all fantastic. However, when we look for staff, we look for people who are excellent teachers, audacious thinkers, risk takers, people who are prepared to come on this journey with the Tagai State College team. It will be your capacity and your ability to develop those relationships, meaningful relationships, true relationships, and getting to know your children, who they are, what their language is, what totem they um, have, um, a little bit about their family and actually meet their family and tell them about you. Kids are amazing. You'll find that you've probably never received so many hugs in your life as a teacher. Um, they're very forgiving too. Um, they will, if, if they've perhaps been disciplined for something little 
in the first session, they come straight back in and have totally forgotten that that had even happened. So they're very giving children. They love song, they love dance. Learning through song and dance is a really important thing. They're very visual, visual students, tactile learners. So if you can bring those sorts of things with you, it can really help to make them achieve. They're open and they're honest and they're all good kids at heart and sometimes they just need a little bit of nurturing and redirection but when you take them down one on one and, and speak to them and really make them aware of how much you care for them and that everything you do is for them to have a better life, yeah that's a light bulb moment so it definitely counts, it works for a lot. The opportunities to um, become a leader and get promotional positions is quite great. Um, it is a lot of hard work, you do have to demonstrate best practice constantly in the classroom but it is recognised and you do get given opportunities when they arrive. My advice to someone coming into um, TI would be just to, to try everything, um, get to know the locals, get to know your community, get to know the parents, get to know the school and never say no. When you're um, asked an opportunity to go out on a boat or go to a tombstone opening, whatever it is, make sure you say yes because otherwise you'll miss out on the best parts of being here. When you talk to other teachers who have taught in the Torres Strait and ask them, you know, what are the benefits, what are the best things about living and working in a remote area, they will often talk about the special friendships you make. Special friendships that you make for life. It is hard work uh, when you come to the Torres Strait You'll be a better teacher when you leave the Torres Strait, um, but more impor importantly, you uh, will be a better Australian when you leave the Torres Strait.